Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a box of chocolate that was sent to us from Mona in Michigan. Mona ordered this chocolate from Lent and had Lent deliver it to our home. We appreciate it so very much. Uh, this is the Lent Connoisseur's box and I <coughs> opened, it was covered in plastic and I uh, unwrapped it so that I could take a picture of the uh, chocolates for you all uh, because I want you to be able to see uh, how it looks when it uh, mm. is whole. It, it smells good. smells fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You got to dump them on the table, aren't you? No. <laughs> There's your close up for right now. I'll, I, oh, one one, one slid, I, yeah, I didn't lose You didn't slid. lose it, did There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we do have duplicates in here. I'm gonna it, cut them in uh, half so we don't have to eat the whole thing. No, well, yeah, he'll cut it in half. So which one would you like to try first? You and I'll pick just, a flavor and we'll just go. Okay, why don't we just go in order? That'll be easier okay. to But there's only one out. of these. Okay, yes, there's only one of these. It is the Almond Hornet. I like that. It's like a little rose. And it just says a fine milk chocolate with an almond praline filling. Four pieces is 220 calories. So there will not be a Pictures. picture at the end. <laughs> the inside. Just the one of the outside. It's good. It has a nutty flavor to it, that's for sure. I don't know if it was when home. I first saw this, I thought this was the foil, the kind you could eat. Oh yeah, it's just paper. That is, it, it had a hazelnut flavor to me. I don't like, it's a nutty, it was, I don't, I couldn't And it that says much. almond, but it really, for some reason, it something in there to me reminded me of hazelnut. It's it was absolutely delicious. Very good, though. very creamy. Extremely creamy. I wish it lasted longer. It's I know. so good. It's like okay, it's gone. Okay, the, there's a crispy one. It's a hazelnut cluster. Is that one? Uh huh. A hazelnut cluster. They're bumpy. They look like they have rice krispies in them. It's smooth praline with a crunchy hazelnut shell, envelops in smooth milk chocolate. Hmm. Definitely got the hazelnut. Again, very smooth, mm -hmm. rich, creamy. Very, very creamy. Good, strong hazelnut flavor too. And oh, I love good. the little crispy pieces. Mm -hmm. Has hey, just a little bit of texture to it. Yes. When you could spend some time on each one of these though and lay it on your tongue and make it last and really, really savor it. This is delicious chocolate and you know when you're eating this that this is, it's a good, good quality mm -hmm. chocolate. It is, it is good chocolate. This is the Cocoa Dome and it is jelly roasted cocoa nibs and hazelnut praline hmm. in a creamy white chocolate crown with milk chocolate. <coughs> Yeah, it has a little um, chocolate nibs inside oh, of it. Oh, yum. Sometimes they're yum, sometimes they're bitter. I guess like little cookie pieces. I feel like little cookie pieces. And we're being very, very quiet. I know, but and you literally don't get that hazelnut until you swallow it, or I didn't. I didn't get hazelnut at all. And it was not very strong. I got more cocoa than And the white chocolate, I did not taste white chocolate. It was just chocolate with a cocoa-y kind of chocolate mix. Yes, in. you did get the little nibs. You got the, the texture of them. They're very crunchy. They're, mm -hmm. they're more crunchy than what we got before. With the hazelnut. With the hazelnut. They're almost like little uh, chocolate chips, almost. Like yeah. little hard chocolate chips. But they're hard. Yeah. But they're good. They're, they're so teeny tiny, then it's not like it's too hard to chew or anything yeah. like that. They're, and they're not bitter. No, they're not it's bitter. It has a little bit of a cocoa flavor. But Those are okay. That was kind of bland. I was su I'm was surprised by that one. Yeah, it's kind of bland. I mean, it's good. It's not bad. Of course, it's lint yeah, chocolate. It's, really it's not going to be bad. But as far as having an overwhelming, like, white chocolate, milk chocolate, 
very strong hazelnut. It's not as strong as you would think it would be. This is the only one of those. Ooh. I'll let you have that one. It's got a the whole hazelnut. Giangua cream. Giangua cream. Delicious Giangua cream enrobed in fine milk chocolate with a whole caramelized hazelnut. Cream. Mm. That was good. Mostly hazelnut. Mm hmm. Yes, and I had almost the whole hazelnut, so I okay. probably had it stronger than you. It was good, though. That was delicious. It was, it was very strong hazelnut. Yes. Absolutely delicious. With some chocolate. Uh, with, <laughs> yes, with the milk chocolate. You can't go wrong with that. There was, was nothing wrong with that piece of chocolate. I can understand why they only give you one, though. I'm sure that's very expensive to make. This one is a dark praline swirl. What are you looking at? I just seen what the different what the three were. This is a dark praline swirl, fine dark chocolate swirl with a dark praline filling with delicate hazelnut flakes. It seems like there's a hazelnut theme throughout the whole box. I don't know if they did that intentionally. That has a good hazelnut flavor. It's almost a coffee bean flavor. It's not bitter like coffee beans, but it does remind me of a coffee bean for some reason. And that, you can tell, it's... I hate to say you can tell it's dark chocolate because really it's not bitter at all. Mm -hmm. It's just that up against their milk chocolate. It's different. It's different. Yeah. It's very different, but it's... It is dark, but it's not... It's not... Bad, bitter, dark. Right, it's not like so bitter that, that you don't want it. Mm, no, it's good. But I like to be able to tell the difference. It's, it's, um, that's a good dark. Mm -hmm. It's a very good dark chocolate. Do that one. Okay, you want me to skip this yeah. one? Okay, but I don't see one. I guess the it's chocolate, this. yeah, that's that. that looks caramely on top, but this one looks brown. No, you can, if you look at the side, you can see the difference in the color. I mean, I can tell the difference. I'm just saying that looks brown, that looks like orange almost. It's a little different in the color. It, this is a chocolate log and it is traditional fine milk chocolate with a dark chocolate and almond paste truffle center. Mm, that sounds good to me. Mm. That's almost eating like eating frosting. <laughs> it is. It's, 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 uh, it's almost yeah like the yeah. texture is like a like the a texture, frosting. Yes, almost. that's it's thick, very thick chocolate frosting. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. It's really good, and you you can taste a little bit of that, just a little bit of that bitterness of the chocolate, not uh, the dark chocolate. Not a lot, just a touch. Not a bad. Yes, part. but it's very. Um, it's not whipped, but it's it's like frosting. Yeah, yes, very creamy. Smooth. It's very that's very, very delicious. Yeah, like I it. did not get the almond though. Did you get almond? I never got an almond. It was all chocolate. Is what I tasted. Okay. This one is the Crunchy Wafer Hazelnut Praline with wafer pieces and fine milk chocolate with a decor of white chocolate. A little layer of like crunchy bits on the bottom. Mm. That's what I wanted to stay open for last. It sounded the best. It's almost wow. like flaky, like flakes of something. That's the wafer. No, that makes sense. That's the wafer pieces. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. That's that probably had, the best one. That had a lot of flavor in it. Mm -hmm. I that think one, that one and that that one right there are my two favorite. Okay, the okay. So Kevin liked the crunchy wafer and the hazelnut cluster. Mm -hmm, those were excellent. Okay, I liked uh, the first one we had, the almond cornet. That was good too. <laughs> and I liked that the crunchy, mm -hmm, yeah. the wafer one. That's so I'm glad really good. we have three more of these. Yes, those are really, really good. That wafer, you wouldn't think that it would make that much of a difference with the flavor, but you can taste that wafer. Oh yeah, yeah, you can taste it. It tastes like one of the little cookie wafers, the really thin. Yes, ones. the wafer cookies. Yeah, yeah. It, that is excellent. And you the just, crispiness of it, it's just really good. Yeah, you you wouldn't think that that flavor would come across that strong, but it really mm -hmm. does. So, Mona. Thank, Thank you, you again for another wonderful box of chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, 
this is such a gift uh, that you've given to us. Uh, and if anyone else is interested, uh, you can go to their website. It's www.lintlindt.com and you can order these and have them delivered to yourself, of course, or you can have them delivered uh, to friends and family. I just think uh, uh, when Mona does stuff like this, it reminds me, wow, what a great gift this makes for birthdays or Christmases or or any kind of um, event that's coming up, I just think these make a great gift. And sometimes they offer free shipping too, so just keep an eye out. Yes, or if you order so much, you know, like yeah. if you order so much or more, we'll give you free shipping. So, and they have a lot to choose from. So, I hope you all will check out their website. Thank you again to Mona, and thanks for watching.